You boys can take it in the tower. We'll be back to talk to second and third. All right, thanks. And 45 plus is off here. Senior 45 plus, I should say. And into the first corner, it is going to be the 53 of Rearner with the whole shot and the early lead here in this one. How about that? No stranger to the front of the pack. Ronnie Renner coming out of Florida, sitting on 1-1 one, one scores, trying to add a third to it. And it looks like he's got, might be the 70. Oh, one rider almost getting crazy there. I think that was the 42 of Brett White coming up just a little short on one of those. Take it away, Jason. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're going to hand it over to your buddy. Let's hear it for the runner-up in the moto, Jacob Hayes. Woo, go Jacob. Wanted to test yourself against the best here. What was it like to race pro sport? Honestly, it was fun. Um, the 25-plus class was a different challenge for me. Um, I haven't ridden with uh, the vets yet, really. And the first lap shenanigans is heavy. It's heavy. More so in the vet class? Absolutely. They're supposed to be the smart, mature one. So my buddy Michael Mitchell, he's always told me previous years, man, it's hectic. And I was like, I just think you're a squirrel. And uh, <laughs> the first moto I got off bad, second moto I got off bad. And then I was like, it's hectic. Yeah. My hands are up. I'm scared. Okay. This class you like? Yes, yes. Uh, the riders are amazing. Everyone rides with respect. And I'm not saying they don't in 25 plus, but uh, there's a little bit more sin in the 25 plus. So uh, it was nice riding with Dax and... Um, Juju and Parker Ross and just all the guys. It was a, a fun week. I got better each time and um, wow. I, I know I said the track was brutal at the beginning of the week, but uh, they did an amazing job getting that thing back together today. I was like, this is the worst rain I've ever seen at Loretta's and um, kudos to those guys. All right, thanks some people here, Jacob. <sighs> My wife, Thor, Dave Janolfi. God, that guy gives me uh, everything and some. Mario Tessa from Team Green. Um, Everyone, thank you. All right, Jacob Hayes, second place. I'll send it back up to the tower. We'll talk to third in a minute, but update us on this 45. Yeah, we got Ronnie Renner leading the way out front on the number 53 KTM. Christopher McMillan checks in in the second place spot on the 89. Then it's going to be Gregory, Gregory Pomart on the uh, number two Paymart. I'm sorry. Frank Koenig holds down fourth, and Joe Buskirk holding down the top five, putting one up for the Orange or the RM Army. Hey, Joe Buskirk gets the good guy of the week award. I believe he was uh, gave his medal back. He says, I didn't finish in this the particular position. Came up, gave the medal back, so the rifle. Hey, I'm going to grab third place uh, real fast. I expected to see you up here in a whole bunch of these. It finally happens at the very end of the last moto. Matty Jorgensen, third place. Where you been, buddy? Um, I haven't had a bad week. Does it feel good to finally uh, make it happen here at the end? Yeah, it was good. You going pro now? Yeah, I'm doing the last three nationals and hopefully racing East Coast. Who do you want to thank, Maddie? I'd like to thank my brother, my dad, uh, my trainer, Michael Byrne, everyone at the Dog Pound, 60 Helmets, uh, MX Locker Active, Scott Goggles, TLR Performance, uh, HTS Exhaust, Insurance Suspension, Engine Eyes, Hammer Nutrition, and P1 Management. Everyone else around me, thank you. All right, there it is, our third place finisher, Maddie Jorgensen. Let's send it back up. Let's hear it for Maddie. A great job from Jorgensen there. Uh, Picking up where we left off, sixth place, Scott Rockwell, Jason Matthews, Gary Benton, and Jeremy Parsons. Uh, Tim Zebro actually now checking into that 10th place spot. Uh, on screen, you're watching the battle between the, I believe that's Scott Rockwell and Joe Buskert. So that Suzuki going to lose a spot. Still holding on strong, though. Senior 45 plus, Ronnie Renner absolutely on rails. McMillan getting ready to come by the tower as well. And as we watch, I believe that is Koenig. And you can see that huge hole. Ah, there he is. It's Matt up here. What's up, Sue? Matt. 13, call us down here. I've seen Matt. Probably upstairs. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Back on screen. Koenig holding up that inside, trying to prevent the 17 of Rockwell from getting around. Rockwell holds it on, and I think he's going to get the pass done just as they make their way across the finish line. So now Rockwell checking into the fourth place spot. Paymart holding down third, chasing after McMillan and Renner. And Parsons holding down the sixth place spot, getting around Buskirk and Matthews. Zebro moves into the ninth place spot and David Nichols holding down 10th. And uh, Jackson, this is, this is great racing right now, but Ronnie Renner uh, coming in with a 1-1. 
He's looking pretty untouchable at the moment. Yeah, Rainer, the man to beat here in this senior 45-plus class. Christopher McMillan still sitting in second there on that number 89, and Gregory Paymart still sitting in third on the number two. Seems like there's a Renner here about every year. But he's got a younger Heck brother yeah. that yep. did some work back in the plus. So there's number 17 that hit the deck. That was Scott Rockwell. So Scott picking the bike back up. And on screen now is Paymart on his Kawasaki number two making his way around. Jason Wygant stoked with his fresh new kicks. He got some MKS shoes, some Moto kicks. They're black and green. Jason, those are his stepping out shoes. He got them and he, as soon as he leaves the track, he rolls in with those, puts his fresh new shoes on. Nice. Cruise into the hotel room. That's all he had on. Just the shoes looking great. <laughs> oh. Renner riding to the hills right now, bringing that lap time down, a 2.02. Ronnie in control, obviously, of the championship, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Paymart solid in the number two spot with two and a three and a two. And then you have Christopher McMillan. McMillan with a 9-2 and a uh, two. Yeah, 9-2-2. Two, two. So that one ninth, man, what could have been. I don't, well, I don't, might have gotten Paymart. That would have helped. That's about it. Paymart sitting in that number two spot on the number two Kawasaki. Christopher McMillan moving down to third there on that number 89. And Paymart changing that number for this, this class. He has the number two. He's a returning second place nationally ranked rider in this class. And aptly so. He is second in the class again. Ronnie on the 53 machine. And the number eight goes down in this big sweeper. Who would that be? The number eight is Tommy Boyd out of Alabama. Tommy trying to pick that bike back up. And that is some soupy sand. That's where we pushed all of the muck down. You got to just pin it. And that is lap number three. We are watching these plus 45 riders make their way around the two card is out that card, that's what i was looking for got the roller dogs on here getting this place ready to go smells like a quick trip <laughs> so give you a little rundown of our top 10 ronnie rearner of course out front on that number 53 gregory paymart sitting in second christopher mcmillan holding down third jeremy parsons going to be in fourth joe buzzkirk holding down fifth in sixth is frank koenig Jason Matthews, Scott Rockwell, David Nichols, and Tim Zebro going to round out our top 10. Sitting in 11th is Mike Luma. In 12th is Wayne Powers, James Max holding down 13th. Edgar Fodish in that 14th position, and Keith Goet sitting in that 15th place position. And on the screen, you see your leader, the number 53 of Ronnie Rearner. Going to get the white flag this time around. So one more lap to go for the number 53, and he will wrap this title up here in the senior 45 plus. He has won his first two motos. Gregory Paymart sitting in second there as far as the championship is concerned, going 2-3-2 two, two if things stay the same as they are right now. Joe Buzzkirk, if things was to stay the same, will stay in third as well. Gregory Paymart checking in now at the finish line there on that number two machine. Christopher McMillan still holding down third on the number 89 as we see the number 53 of Rearner make his way through the Ten Commandments and over into Storyland. Yeah, Ronnie, the Dade City Assassin. Watching right now on screen, there is the 53 picking his way around. None of these, none of your leaders, they ever look like they're in that big of a hurry. They're just smoothly putting this corner to this corner, just putting the pieces yeah, white together. Flag yeah, white out. flag is out. And that's that's a that's a great point because you can't override this racetrack. You will hit the sure. deck, and Ronnie Renner knows that all too well. 45 years. I, when we saw the class thing, I was like, wait, is this plus 30? He's like, no, man, it's plus 45. Sense, no, it doesn't. I just tells me I'm getting old when these dudes that I used to announce back in the day are in the plus 45 class. I'm announcing their kids, kids, and kids, their grandkids. So a few more turns remain for the 53, the Florida native Ronnie Renner, the Red Bull ride to the hills. What was that, a little knack-knack? Yeah, yes, That's sir. That is how you do it, Renner style here at Loretta Lynn's. Oh, shit. 
One more turn. He's old to tricks he's pulling on the racetrack, the old knack -knack. And a crop. And the double-double, the checker flag. Ronnie Renner, you are the man. One, one, one. Now race Mike Jones. That's what I tell my dad. Now race Mike Jones. Ben Gale, get that shirt off. Get Jason Wygant to rub down. Get you all slicked up. Jason Wygant's been doing that to all the vet riders, so just make sure he has a, has a big vet. And we're looking for the rep to come through. Paymart will finish second on the number two. Second again, foil. And that is going to make him second in the championship as well here in this Senior 45 Plus. I'm sure we can see him again here next year with that number two. And Christopher McMillan there on that number 89 is who we are waiting on. We'll see if he is able to hang on to this third place here. And here he comes now. The number 89 going to get it done here today. Third place for Christopher McMillan. Oh, yeah, buddy. And I believe I hear Jason Wygant down on the podium. Oh, yeah, now. we're hanging out with Ronnie Renner, and uh, this might have been just as important as the gold. This thing right here, which is the Stasic Hole Shot Award, that unlocked everything in these conditions. Stasic Hole Shot, that leads to the gold medal. And we told the story earlier in the week. This was basically three years in the making to finally be healthy enough to get here. He gets the gold medal. And now I will welcome the AMA number one plate to the stage from American Motorcycle Association. Let's hear it. It's our new national champion in 45 plus, Ronnie Renner. Oh yeah, he's a energy drink agnostic now. He can do whatever he wants. He going for the Mountain Dew? The original energy drink right here, Florida represent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Many, many a construction site. Proud of you right now. Uh, I heard. Yeah. It's it don't give me wings. It's no Red Bull, but a, a Florida redneck was born and raised on this. That's how I used to stay awake getting up here. Yeah, long drives. Get your Mountain Dew. All right, you earned it all, Chav Swig. I heard what you said. Really good that you got that start. Yeah, I was so laser focused on that start, and it was really tricky because uh, I've been watching all day, and they're either inside, middle, or outside. No in between. It really comes down to when that dozer comes out and cleans it up, and uh, I was scratching and calling for some traction. Got it, this uh, KTM 350 with the Yoshi pipes, burning it out there, so uh, Tamer hole shot hookup, Maxxis uh, scoop tire on the back, the, the SM, dialed in, man. Awesome. Hey, uh, did you ever win one of these before in your days coming to the ranks, or is this number one? I've been here in 86, I've been here in 94, 95, 96, I think 99, 97, I don't know. 2000, like not 10 times, but I've never won a moto. Been close, landed on my head a lot, and now I got three in a row and a championship. So uh, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, I'll let this gate drop and I'll let you thank some people. We're underway. Wow. That start, that start is gnarly. Who do you want to thank, Ronnie? I have so many people I'd like to thank. Uh, first of all, Northern Tool and Equipment for helping support the trip here. CF Moto for really uh, reawakening my, my eyes to motorcycles this year. I've been having a blast riding all their products. Been hopping on the dirt bikes just like a bonus. So, got a hold of this Furman Power Equipment FXR with these new 24 duds looking good. Vortex Sprockets. Got to send a shout out to Little Bro, Robbie Renner with Enjoy Graphics. Even MacGyver back there in the trenches. They hooked me up with the most dialed uh, kits all the time. Thrill Seeking Seats, uh, sorry, Thrill Seekers <laughs> Seats, Seat Covers, uh, GT Bicycles, Risk Racing. Fastway, ODI, man, I hate leaving people out. I know what always happens. GoPro, OG, GoPro athlete right here. Free ride stuff. Um, ODI coming in clutch, Vortex. I, I could go on and on. A lot of people helping me out. I want to send a shout out to my kids at home watching on the tube. Chloe, Jet, Josh, Nate, the whole crew. My lady, Nicole, all the people helping me mechanic. The FXR boys here, always front dead center helping out. Can't wait to come back at plus 50. I'm going to take a little break. Okay, you earned that break. You're in the Mountain Dew. All right, that's it. Semi-retirement for now. Let's hear it for Ronnie Renner.